second game winning it, and uh, thus why we are here. I'm joined by Rick Grosty once again as my co-caster. And uh, the draft underway. So let's get into it here. Tundra, Salomon, Midas, and Wild Soul Band. So again, formless stick with the Salomon here. Obviously, it happened to work out pretty well for the last game, so doesn't want to change too much up in that sense. Um, Lord South Forest was left open, though, and Fresh happens to pick it up. So there's a oh quick boy. War Beast response, though. Yeah, it was interesting. Uh, Shortcut was actually mentioning the other day that apparently there was some talk amongst the top teams that possibly yep. Lord South Forest could be agreed for a gentleman's ban and yeah but clearly not the case because <laughs> we've seen a yeah. ban twice here and now picked up by men so in my opinion the strongest individual hero in the game at this point the hero spikes at level one <laughs> like the hero is just it just doesn't stop yeah uh so I mean that's kind of the big thing with the hero I, I don't think it's I, I don't think it should be gentleman ban. And the reason I say that is because it still requires a team. It's just individually its skill set is very strong. Mm -hmm. Sure it could use a little bit of a tone down here and there, but I mean I don't believe the hero is like god tier, like beyond god tier like Deadlift was when it no. first came out. We've had worse. So we've definitely exactly. had a worse, absolutely. I mean obviously heroes are going to be at top at the top. Like there's going to be the one or two that are just considered ridiculous. So, but yeah, by no means is he, is he broken? I think is a very, very safe point to say, um, yeah. but yeah, he is strong. That's why he's banned most. And when he's not again, first pick potential as we see here, fresh getting him, but uh, it's not a guaranteed win. So obviously uh war beast on complexity side. They I'm sure they're pretty happy with that pickup. Uh, although Arachna coming out with a second pick from Mint. So, again, kind of continuing that trend of just heroes that have kind of are somewhat newer, I guess you could still say. Obviously, it's been a little bit here now, but That's newest cool. of the ones that we see in Arachna ooh. and South Forest. Ooh, Master of Arms. Interesting. Now, the reason I say ooh is because of its cannon and how it can instantly, basically instantly kill Arachna Spider. Oh, the red gun, yeah. Yeah, now, the reason I that's kind of excites me a little bit because I think that's <laughs> going to be a support master. Oh, okay. So I believe that's going to be a support ma a support master is going to get rid of the spider like that. So, huh? Yeah, it's good. Well, he's actually that that's a good way to look at it, and obviously a big part of why the, he might have been picked up too. But honestly, another thing he brings is he's also decent against self force. You could think because yeah. of the undying. Obviously, his ultimate, it doesn't heal. It just puts an absorption shield on you. So it works against the Undying in that sense. Um, yeah. And so, again, not necessarily a counter to Lord Zell Forest, but it's a strong ability. So, yeah, Master really is a strong hero in a couple ways for this yeah, game here. I mean, it's a good team fighter. It gives the goo on the ground that reduces armor, does a good amount of damage. And, you know, they buff that, that uh, the, the red Q, I think it is, that roots now. So uh, Yeah. I, against the hero like South Forest, you know, you don't necessarily need to stun him. But if you stop him from moving, you know, it could be one of those things where, oh, look, now he's dead. He can't move. Mm -hmm. So, I, I, in all honesty, a very good pick. And I think it's kind of overlooked a little bit nowadays. I love the thing outside the box. And the fact that we're able to pick up on it, not, not that that's like so should surprise anyone, but yeah. uh, the fact that, you know, it, because how quickly we were able to pick up on it and against two strong heroes on the scene there now and we haven't seen Master of Arms at, like at all, yeah, I really think that kind of tells you something. Maybe people aren't thinking enough outside of the box right here. So, But absolutely. No, I, I see where you're coming from with the Arachna. Again, the self-forest bit and – um, he did get those buffs, and I, I know I've said this before, the very rare occasions we've seen him that, again, uh, Waza, the uh, the lead ballast, uh, have a lot of conversation with him, of course, behind the scenes, and he, he really thinks that this is kind of one of these Dark Horse heroes uh, that is just not being played, that really has potential to actually be really strong when you kind of figure it out. Now, as you mentioned, it's going to be in a support role, but I think he was even getting out for, like, that carry role even uh, yeah. when it comes to his damage potential, so... Definitely with, like, the proc items, it's pretty strong. I think if if they add that, you know, if they if, just the way Thunderclaw is right now, don't like it on him. But, I mean, if, you know, they, they do something with Thunderclaw, they rework it a little bit. Uh, yeah, it could be a carry because I think those proc items are very strong on him. So Get that arc light crown. Yeah, oh, <laughs> that's such an odd item to build. Isn't it like two <laughs> warp clefts or something? It's, it's really weird. It's, it's really awkward, awkward how they have you build I, it. I, but Yeah, I, I've never seen it in a game, TMM, or competitive. Exactly. It's, <laughs> it's so awkward. Yeah. I built it's it like in Mid-Wars once. 
<laughs> just to see it. Just to try it. And then the game was over. So Interesting. Didn't really see it. Fade coming out, yeah. Fourth pick fade. Could be a set up to be a trialing kind of thing, but uh, you know, we, we kinda just negated the fact that they picked Magebane, who was also very good against Self Forest and Arachna technically. Being able to blink away from the spider if it's, you know, if he's in the middle of a team fight. Obviously, True. ulting a South Forest that has a sheep stick is going to melt the entire team. War Beast is also great for that matter with his ultimate form. So, yeah, they, they really have a lot of ways to kind of deal with this Arachna here, especially. Yeah, yeah this, is, uh, this is kind of a complexity team that really sat down and said, okay, well, we're going to have to deal with South Forest. What are we going to do? We're going to have to deal with Arachna. What are we going to do? So, I mean, really, they put a lot of work into this. And, I mean, obviously, knowing it, it was probably Love. Love's kind of very good at coming up with these, hey, why don't we try this hero? I think it could work against this. Yeah. So, it's it's actually really good. And it's nice to see that these new heroes are coming into the scene. Well, Mint, uh, again, they, they went a little different, too, with that fade, as we are mentioning here. You see Magmus coming out for complexity. With their fourth pick, so they get kind of their middle hero now taken care of. Um, and then Ravener is going to be the finish, actually, for Min. So r running the Tricor here with the South Forest Iraq and a Ravener coming out on the Legion side. Where is that Ravener going to end up? Is that going to be a far? Is that going to be the carry, or is Arachna going to be that? In, in Pro Bus Sands, I guess, is the best way to put it. I I'm wonder. I'm wondering if South Forest is going to be in the suicide lane. Um. Because uh, well, yeah. they could try lane. They I think try lane, yeah. So I'm wondering if they're going to shoot our try lane top and let South Forest solo bottom or Engineer. even so or suicide the South Forest and put a try lane uh, bottom. So this is an interesting game. See, Os it, yeah, go Oscar's going to play the War Beast. Well, and, and you know what? That's what Because I, I think that's in. That's in response to what Mint's doing, really, because yeah. they've realized that they're going to very likely run a trial lane, so they want that dual support. They go with the Engineer final one, who obviously can be solid in that case. They're probably going to go, like, Master Engineer Magnus up against it, I would think, uh, at that I, top lane. So, I don't know what. This is, this is going to be a mind game. The, this, the first two minutes of this game are going to be very mind game. I mean, even then, I bet you Fresh was doing the same thing. Like, oh, crap, what are they going to do? <laughs> yeah. I think both teams here are going to kind of sit down and go, okay, well, we know it's going to be tri-lane. Both teams are going to want the tri-lane versus tri-lane. Mm -hmm. I don't think either team wants to dodge it with the way they he picked heroes. So this, I think, inevitably will end up being tri-lane versus tri-lane, whether whoever is in the tri-lane will, you know, figure it out then. But Because, I, I mean, they could even tri-lane the Arachna, but... Probusk is on it, which makes me think that's going to be solo bottom. And different guy takes this out for us. So oh. I, I'm going to say it's going to be Probusk bottom, different guy mid, and their try lane's going to go top. I think they might be better off doing Probusk mid, different guy bottom. because, And I say that because if you're complexity here, I would think that you would probably want to send Mage Main middle and then just have that War Beast in that long lane. And obviously Arachne would do very well against the Mage Main middle. I guess Lord South Forest arguably would too, but maybe yeah. Arachna a little bit better. But then, yeah, again, that's the mind game. So it's like, is that actually going to happen? Well, yeah, so this is this is going to be – I'm with you there. This is going to be an interesting laning phase. Yeah. I mean, I mean, that's kind of the fun of this, though. This is, this is very different from what we've been used to in competitive. I think this could be the dawn of, like, a new metagame almost in a way <laughs> because this is very old metagame style. Yeah. This is, uh, you know, brings back the original when Han first came out, the tri lane style. So, this is going to be. I, I'm excited to watch this game, actually. Yeah. I'm always excited. Regardless That's to, true. I'm always excited. But, but this, game, this game just makes you a little bit more hype. <laughs> no, absolutely. Uh, I'm showing the standings right here while we are on this pause. Again, I know people have been kind of asking about that. Obviously, it's on Hunter.com, guys. You can check this out yourself really easily. It's a, the standings tab at the top there. But, again, this is what I've been talking about. Complexity currently in that first place spot by 500 points, which in the big scheme of things is honestly not a lot. Because, again, there's 2,700 points that you earn for first place on the line, and then it goes down from there. You know, each of the spots obviously earning a certain amount of points. So, But the, the biggest thing that I was making is that if Complexity finishes ahead of Sync in these two final cycles, 100% their first place, uh, obviously. They, they have the lead right now. So in that sense, they control their own destiny. 
But here they are in a loser's bracket to start. We're seeing some of the winner bracket finals, of course, and so that's where it gets a little tricky. If Sync happens to win this cycle, then it's going to be a very, very interesting finish, especially depending where complexity finishes this cycle. Um, and obviously going into that cycle eight, we'll have a very good idea of what the absolutes are, where people need to finish. But uh, doing the math, we were double-checking this just to be clear. Those are the only two teams, Evil Corporation and Bad Monkey Gaming, that's third and fourth teams. They are a little too far away at this point uh, to be able to catch up. So um, it is going to be a two-way race going to the final cycle here for the number one. And once again, with the announcement yesterday, which uh, I'll go over a little bit later on once again today, it's on the forum post and a Haunter post, but uh, the number one seed gets that spot to the world finals, and the number two through nine seeds will then fight in a playoff down the line here to determine that second team. So that's all what's on the line here, and uh, again, looking forward to seeing how all that kind of works out here coming at us. Okay, into the game now, though. Yeah, what are and we I mean, seeing? we're seeing five heroes run together, so they're not telling yeah. us anything. Well, the Hellborn team is right now. They are yeah. sending what we thought here, Top. Midgen solo mid with pooled regen. Oh, what do they want out of this, though? The Wolves are going to see this. If Oscar? No, he didn't go uphill in time. Oh, okay, he sees the Andro. Now he definitely sees the Andro. They're going to see the Iraq. Okay, they're going to kind of see everything here. So, yeah. Hellborn not revealing anything yet. They haven't showed what they're doing. So I wonder uh, what – oh, this could – Yeah, that was almost the root. complexity. Very risky right there with their running into the lane. But in the end, our Actually, be fine. Love had a ward there. He saw them all walk away. Okay. So they did see that it was just those two there. But uh, – That was good for the, the Legion team, honestly. <laughs> that was risky. Oh, yeah. On their part, for them like staying up there like that. Okay, so, so... – There it is. Try lane versus try lane. Mage Man's going to have a terrible time middle, which is why I'm curious. Because it is going to be 1v1 against an Arachna. How odd to see Probus versus Formless 1v1 mid lane. Middle, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is something. The two carries going at it in the middle 1v1. But obviously, yeah, this goes back to what I was Like, Arachna definitely has a true advantage here. And it's going to be a tough time for Formless, I would think, at least, when it comes down to it. Um, uh, uh, being in the middle lane, uh, I mean, he's going to get last hits, sure, but I would expect Arachna to be higher in the end as the game picks up. But, yeah, no, this top lane, I'm going to try to keep my camera, of course, up here for uh, most of the uh, early game as expect this to be where the action is going to happen. Uh, the downside of Mint is that they are technically running that double melee with the Fade and the Ravener here, so they are at a disadvantage, you could argue, there. Um what, uh, oh, Fade already has a mana battery, though. That's pretty important in these trial lanes going at it. You know, Ring of the Teacher is obviously another kind of tool that uh, are important. And right now, I don't see either team going for one even. So I'd be curious if that becomes an option here for uh, either yep. side. But, yeah, I mean, is there a clear, like, is there a clear winner in your mind and as far as the top lane, or will it just be I think it's more of a winner of the other lanes. Of the fact that their mid lane is going to win now and their bottom lane should win. So I think it's kind of an in favor of Mint here just because of how the other lanes are going to play out. You know, if nobody dies this top lane, it's going to heavily favor this Legion, or the, yeah, this Legion team. So yeah. if people start dying and the Hellborn gets the kills, it could be in favor of them. So yeah. I think it's just a matter of how well the other lanes do. Fair enough there. Yeah, that's just, uh, so it probably comes down to really that this is kind of just an even. Up here at the top lane, it's just a matter, yeah, who gets the initiation, who's going to have the kills happen in their favor in the end. And a little surprise. I mean, neither side's really even tried for anything just yet. There hasn't been any stun attempts or anything like that. Just simply very kind of, very cautious. It's almost, now you see the lane positioning. It's it's getting in favor of Mint right here, but it is going to go into the tower now and ideally pushed back. So uh, they do have the double Warlock here on Complexity side. So try to get back to the middle right here, but still not too bad for Mint as far as this lane positioning by any means. In fact, pretty good for them still. So, yeah, they've done a good job of that. And yep. uh, I think Complexity, it's, they're not stacking their pole camp, which is curious to me. At least, yeah, maybe they just figured it's blocked. I mean, they, they would have checked it by now, I would assume. 
Yeah, I'm not really sure. I, I, I'm wondering if they're just kind of afraid to... Okay, there you see the stacker right there, but yeah. if they're kind of just afraid to leave the trial in right now, so... True. <laughs> yeah, if you're a Mitch and you see that support kind of going off to the side, you can try to take advantage of that, but... Yeah. I mean, this, right there. this is so odd. I mean... South Forest having a great time bottom. What a surprise at South Forest. <laughs> so... Yeah. It's doing pretty well. I mean... Yeah, Warbeast is going to have a very rough time in this lane, so... Just going to try to get as much farm as he can, but, I mean, expect South Forest to just push this tower heavily over and over again and uh, keep his farm up this high. I mean, already 420. Mm -hmm. Why is his GPM so high? Um, he gets a... Uh, he has the Salomon effect. Lord South Forest. I, yeah, I'm so confused. <laughs> No, it's pretty good. 30 and 3. I mean, look at the creep kills compared to anyone. Like, he's perfect, right? Like, that has to be perfect. That, that, no, it's it's perfect, but that GPM seems incredibly high. <laughs> like, I, I, in all yeah. honesty, I'm a little confused. I'm with you. Yeah, four minutes to be 440 GPM with no kills or anything of that sort. That is pretty ridiculous. I guess the Hellhounds, he's might have killed a couple of those. And maybe still, helped a little bit, but... That's... I mean, maybe oh. it's because he's actually constantly pushing the wave and he's getting the creep kills immediately. Perhaps, it just seems... Yeah. Oh, I wonder if it's something like that. Um, I mean, yeah, he's just putting so much pressure on the Warbeast bottom. There's just yeah. nothing he can do. Yeah, that, it's, yeah, he's killing the Hellhounds pretty quickly with that Morris Artissima, so... Yeah, really, Warbeast is kind of just trying his best to just get experience simply. As far as farm goes, not going to be the greatest here for him. A middle lane, Arachna 20 and 10, Mage Bane 12 and 0, so... Yep, as expected. I mean, this start is really favoring Mint quite a bit. And so if your complexity here, I, I, it's, this is interesting. Again, like, what do you do? Like, what are they? Because keeping it like this is clearly not the answer at this point. Yeah. They're going to try to make a fight happen, by the way. Magnus does it at the pole camp area. He's in a bad spot, but they do get the Bloodless kill first on Andromeda. Now Magnus, he's going further. They're going to go for Ravener now. Magnus Lava Surgeon, one more second. This should be a dead Ravener as well. So, you know what? They really yep. baited them into the pole camp there. Yep. And that and worked I mean, out. My point exactly here was, I said, if they didn't feed top lane, this would be heavily in favor of Mint. But giving them these kills is going to hurt a little bit because this is going to get the Magmus PK earlier. I mean, the supports are going to be able to be more active. It's, uh... Yeah, I mean, obviously it still favors Mint because they did pick two incredibly strong solo, solo laners in Arachna and South Forest, so... Still is in favor of mid, but they need to not give any more kills at this point. Oh, nice keg stun, but it's still not going to matter. Magma's too much pressure, and that stun trio coming out for Mint right there. So, yeah, now that we're seeing the levels get up there, uh, people being a little more liberal with their spells and going for those kills, and in that case, Mint does come out on top. And that, that's the target that obviously you do want to kill, if any, is the Magmus there. So good response on their part, and they, they don't negate what happened necessarily, but they at least... Uh, keep it in check right there. But yeah, look at these GPM charts. It really says Mint's in that great spot. Again, Lord South Forest, the absolute big part of it. What is different guy going to go for? Lord South Forest is really one of these, in as much as we see him, there's no obvious build, I feel like. There's a lot of different choices from yeah. player to player. So what, what what do you like? I do like the tablet into sheep stick. I believe, in my opinion, 9 out of 10 games, sometimes even a rushing a sheep stick, but I do still really like those tr uh, the the combo of items right there. Okay. Yeah, we've seen from things like Portal Key, so uh, yeah. Staff of the Master, Icon, you know, when it was considered. Again, I I wonder if that idea that it wasn't nerfed as much as people thought, like that could be something that maybe people look at again. But, uh, yeah, Staff of the Master is definitely another thing that kind of comes to mind. So he's building – well, he's getting build up for now. He's getting some Blood Chalice there, actually. So, right of course, there. it makes sense on him. He's got plenty of regen to work with. Top lane, it looks like they want to go. Yep, he missed the stun, though. It did fade. Magnus counters quickly. The Kexon hits, but uh, I think, actually, Master might have missed, actually, but it doesn't really matter, as you see it. The ball lightning's on Magnus, but there's no way Ravener's going in at that point. So good kill on to fade there. Yeah, this comes out in their favor, but... Again, at this stays it's continuing to stay static, which I guess if you're complex, like I'm not expecting them to be moving. You you almost have to respect that Mint's also doing this trial lane, so you got to stay up here at the supports. But their solos are getting dominated as expected here in the other lanes. I mean, technically, the long run here, 
this Hellborn team wins. They win in 40 minutes. They, their hero's just going to overpower theirs, by far. There's just, you know, Mage Bane and War Beast, you know. Mage Bane, the strongest carry in my eyes right now. And then War Beast, who's just a solid secondary carry. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I think they're kind of just banking off the fact, like, okay, if we survive for another 20, 30 minutes, we'll just win based on, we'll outfarm them. Yeah. We'll, we'll, you know, we'll take them late game and we'll win. And I mean, that's a complexity style. I mean, you've seen them do it for, you know, for however long they've been in the competitive scene, really. Mm -hmm. So, I, if their style is to just sit here and kind of let the Mage Bane Warby suffer, but, you know, just get the portal key early on Magmus, you know, so he can be active and then start creating space. This should benefit them. Oh, Andromeda, very risky to kind of run in here like that. They do stun him initially. Now, Fate trying to go for the turn, going to Master. Ravener, he is going to pour in with the ball, landing in Storm Blades, and gets the kill. Magmus, he's thinking about or trying to find Fate, but can't do so. But yeah, Andromeda kind of just ran in here pretty recklessly. And they saw it, obviously, with this Ward of Sight. So, greedy play on his part gets him killed, but at least they get the turn onto Master of Arms there. Lord Self Force oh, was heading up here. Oh. What was that about? Were they trying to set up a... I mean, they had to be, right? Yeah. <laughs> I think they thought the Ravener was going to walk... Uh, you know, try to farm these creeps a little bit, but he didn't walk up at all, so... Credit the Ravener to just not walk up and basically yeah. feed him a free kill. Yeah, they, and with the... They definitely saw the eruption animation, I'm sure. Ravener is going to feel a little more comfortable because of that. And, yeah, he's he's fine. They, they start the initiation, but they don't really have the most follow-up after it, so... Falls back, pops a health potion here. So, again, it really speaks for that Fresh is continuing to be in a much more favorable spot right now. And South Forest, do we have an idea what he's going for yet? No, 1,000 gold saved up, so not giving any answer yet. Look at War Beast, at least. Oscar's able to pressure the tower a little bit, but now South Forest is back. Yep. And, rip, uh, rip the dream. Yeah, <laughs> going to prevent that from happening. Another thing that I'm actually going to say that I've seen South Forest do lately is the mock build. It's, I mean, it's a possibility. I don't see it happening, but it's a nuisance to have a South Forest walk behind you and you're losing 100 HP per second. Yeah. I don't see it happening, but like I said, it's a possibility. <laughs> just with the way, I just want to, you know, while he's pooling gold, maybe just throw it out there that it could be a possibility. That would be interesting. <laughs> very, very aggressive, uh, greedy, definitely build with the mock, but mock's obviously a strong item, especially now. Master of Arms top lane, by the way. He's oh, those are illusions. Never mind. <laughs> so oh, I'm wondering yeah. why it wasn't dying as fast as I expected. But uh, in the end, he survives. Fade unable to do enough to make that kill happen. So, um, but yeah. I, so honestly, as much as Mitt's in the lead here, it, it is on them. Kind of what you're going to. Really, it's not on them to really take advantage of this lead. So. You know, sure, they can keep farming, you know, in their lane static-like and keep this GPM lead going, but is that really going to win you the game in the end? As Warby's, the Undying's on him, but he's just going to run away. He gets the tower kill, and he's like, all right, I'm good. You got no stun. Why did he get the tower kill is my question. Yeah. There's no reason he should have got that tower there. I mean, I mean great play by Oscar. I mean, that's important. That's going to just – everyone needs the gold on the Hellborn team here, so – that's a pretty big boost to them. And, uh, okay, yeah, and it gave it to the Hellborn. So, I mean, 260 gold to everyone. And, you know, it's interesting, too. It's like everyone's static in their lanes. Like both teams, everyone's staying in their lanes. <laughs> I mean, South Forest moved a little bit, we saw earlier, to try to make something happen at the top, but did it, and now he's back bottom, just continuing to farm here. Um, he actually buys a Luminous Prism. That could be several items. I think that's going to be the Sheep. Uh, that or Puzzle Box or Storm Spirit. I mean, honestly, all three are pretty practical, to be very honest. Yeah, uh, maybe the Storm Spirit and the Sheep. I don't think the puzzle is... Eh, I just don't see it happening. No, okay. I feel like the hero really needs it, but... Uh, I could definitely see the Storm Spirit happening, but I, I still think pretty sold on it being the Sheep. Mage is going to get caught here in the jungle. Not enough, yeah. though. Even without that Master's Call, I think he's good. Yeah, I think so, too, and... Uh... It's, you know, that, that shield is going to be a pretty big factor this game to stop heroes from getting solo killed like that. So, uh, it's, this is going to be very passive now. It's going to be trying to get this Mage Bane to recover, War Beast trying to get farm wherever he can, and then South Forest and Arachna just doing the same thing. So, it's going to be pretty passive, and then there's just going to be six heroes sitting top lane. <laughs> well, it's, you see, it's kind of like that, but to be fair, Fade has now tried a couple of times to, to set up something. 
We saw at the top lane he try to kill whoever, I think it was like Master running away, couldn't get yep. it. And then Mage Man, as we just saw right there, couldn't get the kill. That's twice now he's used his ultimate since hitting level 6 and has been unsuccessful getting a kill out of it. That, that's a pretty big deal because you'd figure that's what Mimp was going to be relying on too as far as transitioning here as the game continues on. Now, as I say this, I mean, they're up 4,000 gold just about at 4,000 experience. So, again, this this is, this is really is, we expected it to be kind of just a, a different game almost, kind of an interesting one definitely, and we're getting that. It's not necessarily the most action-packed game, which is surprising me because when you have Triverse's trial lane with as many stuns as they have, you would figure. But, oh, yeah, ma middle lane though, Mage Bane. Yeah, he needs to get out of here right now. Spider Sting, now as you mentioned, he has a blink, but it's not like it makes him it's immune. The fade, There's the Assassin Shroud, here's the Fade. Look at this, there's no chance he gets away. <laughs> He's gonna blink, but... Oh, the Master's Call, though. Uh, okay, you're right, actually. I forgot about that, honestly. He needs and to man up and take the spider, though. He's just man up and take the spider. Going to keep running. Yeah, no, this is interesting. The spider might actually kill him still. Oh, oh man. man. If it got one auto attack off there, a couple, maybe, but right. no. In all honesty, when he got to his tier 2 tower, he should have just let it hit the shield. I I, <laughs> I feel like running away like that and letting the spider even have a chance to kill you. Yeah, a little scary. But a little yeah, scary. So, I mean, maybe just, you know, he could have just sat there and tanked it. He saw they ran away, so mm -hmm. eh, just, you know, maybe the next time. But, yeah, I mean, that Ursa shield has already proved, you know, it might not have saved him at his, uh, the medium camp earlier in the game, but it at least saved him there for sure. That was something. That was something. But he does survive. But, <laughs> again, this really goes back to, though, interesting game to say the least. Look at this, by the way. Self Force, you are right. He is going to Sheep Stick. Um, you know, in the sense of being more aggressive, you know, what I was thinking about, too, with the Storm Spirit, it's like that's a very defensive. It's like what would he really accomplish with that? Sheep Stick makes a lot more sense for that aspect. If he wants to be aggressive, and look at that there. He cleans up the Ancients. 520-plus gold per minute now. Oh, and I'll just pick up this double damage during the half of the spawn here, too. And farming continue so my farm. But, you know, honestly, we're caught up with him, but how about that Assassin Shroud on Arachna? That's a big deal item, too. Yeah. That Sleeping Team is already able to get. Kind of just that big middle advantage. I mean, Arachna is going to destroy Mage Bane in lane. There's no reason Mage Bane should ever win that lane. So, like I said, they picked two lanes that were going to win the solos, but they kind of picked the tri lane that wasn't going to really do that well. The, I mean, the tri lane was in favor, like I said, was in favor of Hellborn, and the solo lanes were in favor of the Legion, so... Right now, it's proving that the solo lanes are definitely being the more impactful heroes. So, But a portal key is ready on Magnus. Yeah, just going to say they, they did a good job. They triple stacked the camp right here, and obviously with the goo on top of that, that's going to allow them to farm it up pretty quickly. They get the portal key. Now this is complexity's time to try to start making something happen here. Um, and now this is where the transition happens, too. You do see Mage Bane coming up here now, realizing, okay, you got the portal key. I can now farm up here. So, yes, keep... Despite this lead, this goes back to again, what is Mint doing with this lead? What are they going yep. to do? They need to keep things happening. They only have two hero kills in 16 minutes. That doesn't feel like they're really using the lead to its fullest here. Yeah, and I mean, you see this War Beast is starting to recover now. The Mage Bane is starting to recover now. It's, it's, it's getting to the point where they need to do something. They have the Sheep Stick on uh, Sephoris, and they have the Shroud on Arachnid. They should be able to kill anyone on the other team, no matter who it is. Mm -hmm. If Sephoris just sits bottom like this, it's not going to help them. They need to start forcing fights. They need to start being active. They need to start doing things. Absolutely, yeah. No, different kind needs. Like, yeah, with the Ravener, the Andromeda up here, the Fade setting up, it feels like that they could really win a big fight against Sephoris, especially being just level 14 and as impactful as he can be. So... He's kind of running around in the jungle here. What are they doing on the Congor? Are they going to really... Legion Congor, that would be something this early on. They would see it, too. Love yeah. has a ward over there. Oh, top lane, by the way. They are initiating a drama to swap out Ravener, it looks like. And going to be fine. The energy field is down, though, just so the TPs are going to do nothing. <laughs> Everyone TPs. The energy wow. field is just basically a wall at that point. Keeps them out. Well played by Engineer there. That's... I mean, that's the huge advantage Engineer there. Just... He can literally place the energy field, and you can't walk through it. I mean, mm -hmm. they all TP'd and got nothing out of it, and it still ended up being one for nothing. 5-2 hero kill for complexity. Again, that, that's the most shocking thing to me, honestly, especially with how passive that trial lane went at the top lane and this lead that Mint has built up with their solos to only have two hero kills. Really, it's, it's, so, uh, it's such an odd feeling. <laughs> 
That's yeah. that feels like that mint's behind, yet they aren't on the stat sheet at least. The way they're playing feels like they're behind. They're not playing to the strength of their lineup. They're not yeah. playing to the strength of their heroes. It's I I'm, I'm getting a little nervous with them. Sure, they have this lead. Okay. But they're going to go for a pick off here. Yeah, this could be an important one, but again, it's not easy. There's a master's call to Keg. Magma stuns. He's like, I'm trying to help, but if he stuck around, then he very likely would have been susceptible to So a good getaway from Fuzzy Sloth. The immediate, you know, I did, I did what I could. Good luck with the rest of it. So not able to get away. Uh, finally, a pick off for Mint. Bottom lane, Warbeast. Uh, obviously, this is an advantage, though. He's able to run away initially. The life tap, not enough right there. And he will survive as the port was successful. So, whew, just barely got out in the end, but he did. He's had a sheep stick for three minutes, has fused it once, and has not gotten a kill. Yep. That's the big thing here is he has this huge item that makes it so easy to kill heroes, and he's just not. Sure, he's farming a lot of gold. Sure, he's doing well, but what's is it going to matter? Yeah, what's exactly. the point if you're not using it to then progress get the objectives and ultimately help win the game so it's uh yeah it's and yeah it's not like i was i was gonna say it's not necessarily helping a lot with his farm granted it is self four, so he already kind of just has plenty of farm potential <laughs> with the skill set so i guess he really doesn't need that rapid farming ability but or the item i should say but uh yeah that's kind of just part of it too the shrunken head being worked on by arachna you got a portal key now on ravener so everything's screaming right now for this legion side like yeah they, they need to start going they need to start making these said plays now again to be fair it's not like they've been completely passive they have been trying to an extent kind of i will say cell forest has been pretty stuck to this bottom lane and two of his attempts have been on this war beast who's obviously good at getting away against him so they're going to try again with Andromeda. The Veiled Rot may help accomplish this. They probably have an idea that he's over the Ancients now. Oh, they definitely do with the Ward. Yep. He Can they sneak past here. there, though? Yeah, the tower's going to see them. So, yeah, that's the problem. Oh, but Ravener cuts him off, so the plan along. He's going to stun in. Is it enough? Gets going to die, but there's he's the shield. Andromeda's trying to get in range for a swap at the cliff, but this is the third he time now. And they committed four heroes to this. He's gone. Nope. No. Wow. Oh. Clutch okay, Ravener so. right there. Okay, so they got a kill. Committed four heroes to it, though. They did get the kill, though. That's kind of what matters here. But they're going to get a tier one tower top in the process. It still doesn't seem worth it, though. It doesn't because Mage Bane. And he just gets exactly. a drink cleaver. He, oh. <laughs> He's dead, though. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, he blinked into the wrong spot. Nope. And nope. Spider oh, chase! The spider time, chase! Oh no! Kill the spider! Oh! oh. The timing. So, yeah, and he has no points in his E yet, so the attack speed is nothing. Mm. They they should know he's still here. They're gonna drop. They have well, no. they're trying. Reveal. Yeah, but not gonna find him. So. Whew. Okay, so as we say that, they do kill Mageman. So now Fresh is like, okay, now they're they're accomplishing something here. With this farm, it took a little bit, but no, oh, this yeah. is just mind trap, by the way. That would have been something. If Arachna happened to just walk and do that, <laughs> just walking back. Well, level mines? Uh, Ooh, level, level three mines? Three. Those probably would have killed Arachna. Yeah, if he didn't get his W off, wasn't paying attention, definitely. It was a 275 damage, so times six right there. Quick math, I mean, that's at least 1,500. It's around 1,700 damage, I want to say, so. It's a lot. That should be a kill. Especially if he's on agility and not on strength, so. Yeah. They're going to try again bottom lane. Oh. What is this MOA master? is dead. <laughs> what was he doing there in the first place? I didn't catch that initially. I... Farming ancient? <laughs> no. <He laughs> I, is, I'm not really sure. He is great for that. That's actually something that, to be fair, Complexity maybe hasn't been taken advantage enough of. Um, he, MOA is one of these supports, especially who... Obviously, when we used to see him, I mean, that's something we saw a bit. The farming the ancients. That goo really makes it very effective for a lot of heroes. So, But they have not been able to take advantage of that unfortunately on their side but uh, yeah mage man he's got through and cleaver now now he's not taking off by any means just yet he still needs a little bit of time for that but yep he's gonna, gonna need it. he's gonna need his team this is where they're gonna hide and kind of have to play the sit three heroes top behind them let war beast do his own thing and in 20 minutes we'll win the game that's that's what needs to happen here and i mean they're kind of doing that magmas is sitting up here 
Uh, Love might get caught here. He's definitely caught. He's going to go down. He put the rev down trying to do some counter warding, but obviously Mint was ready for that and ended up seeing him. In fact, now, look at this. Sasuke going to find Engineer. And look at that Lex Talionis as well. Trying to help for the kill, but oh, but Ravener with the portal key is good placement. However, he's caught though. Swap from Andromeda. Here comes Arachnid South Force though. And this should be a 1 5 4 mint. They do get the kill out of Faye, but now Warbase. He has to get the hell on out of there. Mage Bane at least is able to clean up Andromeda, but again, with South Force and Arachna here, you can't feel comfortable on picking this fight. So they are going to back off, and it will be a tower push as well. So overall, it does come out in favor of mint. That portal key, how about that on different guy? Now that really makes it another level of sheep stick as far as initiating goes here. Yeah. I mean this I, I guess they're 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 doing what they need to do. They did it late, but they're doing what they need to do. Mm -hmm. I think it's kind of the big thing here. Oh yeah, now they got a pretty comfortable lead coming out at this point near the twenty four minutes, and especially if they get Congor, which I don't see why complexity would even Think, I mean, I guess they could think it's even going on, but they probably wouldn't even be able to defend it. I, well, they probably would, to be honest, but again, I think I think they just don't notice until maybe it's too late. And, yeah, that's going to be a Kunger kill. So, Token, who do they give it to? Ravener. They okay. gave it to Ra What? <laughs> who would you rather see in Arachna? Or Salforus. <laughs> Salforus is it, if, with the start he has. It's like, is he really going to die? So... I, but still, though, I then give it to Spider. Yeah, I think Arachna was pro probably the better choice then. I, but I, I just that's probably the almost one of the last heroes I would like to see that item on. I, I don't know. Ravenna is not doing, you know what? Like his job this game wasn't supposed to be. Let's farm 500 GPM and one shot everyone. So that's Arachna's job and Salforus's job. So ah, would have liked to see on either one of those two heroes. Yeah. Well, they got the conquer kill, and they do have the token, so there's something to that. But, yeah, arguably probably not the best hero to choose on in this specific case, but it's what it is there. Magnus, another 17 under gold saved up, so Fuzzy Sloth has actually managed to do pretty well. I mean, it's only 270 GPM, so it doesn't look like he's necessarily farming that great, but, you know, Portal Key is going to have whatever item he feels necessary next, probably something like a tablet here. Or, I mean, they oh. could definitely use a sheep stick, but that's going to – be a while so yeah now this is the part where mage Bane starts taking off there's his fire brand so this is where the game could start changing a little bit if he can just sit in their jungle and farm it for as long as he can this is where the game will change he needs at least three items mm -hmm. and i include like what he has right now he needs at least three items so if he can get to geometer's bane either go shrunken frost wolf something having those three items will make a huge difference so most likely we'll need the fourth. Uh, it sucks that he really can't go wingbow this game because it would have done really well. But because of Arachna, he really can't. Yeah. But it's, uh, you know, it. he might go like the shrunken, maybe symbol kind of build kind of thing. I'm wondering if that's going to be like geometers, sh shrunken, uh, symbol of rage. I think might be his item choices this game. Okay. See what uh, Formless decides is best here if they get to that point. Because, again, you see yep. Mint is definitely applying the pressure. Ravener, he's got the token in the front lines. He's obviously not too concerned. That Goo, very good at counter pushing. The better abilities in the game, but the tower is going to fall in the end. Yeah, so Forrest still well up here. He's level 19, by the way, which is, again, quite the gap over anyone else. He's four levels higher than anyone on the Hellborn side right now at this point. So... Another impact that he's having. You got the Firebrand shrunken in Assassin's Shroud on Arachna, too. So she's doing plenty. The shrunk on South Force is big. Oh, there we go. The eruption, but no. South Force is going to stop it, actually. Energy field coming out of the background. Now, Mint's going pretty deep with this. They need to be careful about that. Ravener, he is dropping, actually. Magma stuns, but he does die in the end. Fade trying to run away now. Gets swapped in the last second. Warbeast is chasing him down, but Arachna now turning. And they do catch uh, Warbeast. And he will actually fall right here. Buyback used on a fuzzy sloth, by the way. He comes back in, he kills Fade, but at what cost right there? Now he's trying to escape. Mage Bane here as well, sitting on a rack with the Mana Rift and the auto attack. Will finish her off, actually. As self Force was also picked off, so Andromeda's going to die. And all this took was one buyback, actually. They're going to clean up and get a genocide here and save the racks in the end. Wow. i got to say, that's definitely victory for Complexity. 
That was the most grim fight I have ever seen before in my life for complexity. <laughs> With one buyback, they completely turned it around and saved their racks. In my opinion, that could have quite possibly been a huge throw. Yeah. I don't know yet because Mage Man, you know, he hasn't hit that point yet, but now he's going to have a shrunken head. He is going to... Uh, <laughs> little questionable there by Mint. I mean, the game's not over by far. I mean, they have an open racks now, so... But it's... That was a little bit too deep to be diving. That Well, see, so that start was very interesting to me because a couple of reasons. One, because when Different Guy went in, he actually didn't sheep Magnus right away. Magnus was actually able to get the eruption off. Uh, from, from what I saw, I believe he I believe he actually got it off in the end. So when he jumped in, you know, granted, I guess he didn't have the shrunk in, but he was able to get it off, and I think somebody else followed it up too. That was out there, maybe the fade or something like that, so it was taking damage from it. But then on top of that, like you said, that, that kind of forced Fresh, to, it put them in an awkward spot of, we feel like we have to go in now. And they really started to dive right there, and clearly when you're going that far into a base, it's, it's always going to be pretty risky no matter how much of a lead you have. So... I, I get what different guy was going for. He did ultimately stop the initiation from Agmus, but again, it kind of put this team in that awkward spot. And I guess that's where you say, honestly, that the communication was probably lacking because they should have not followed him that far. I mean, that was how Forrest said, I'm going to stop Magmus. Don't come in with me, though, because then the energy field came out. They obviously got caught up chasing as far as they did, and that backfired because of it all. So complexity, though, they got to feel good about that one. And Mage Vane oh boy. <laughs> getting bigger and better now. What's up? Yeah, no, the 450 GPM on Mage Vane now. I mean, this is what I said. I mean, if the game goes long enough, it's just not – this this mid team's not going to have a chance. I mean, it's it, – the, and the gold lead, you know, and the experience lead is definitely falling too. I mean, you're seeing the power of War Beast now has another 3K gold saved up. So it's – another fight like that could really be the game in all honesty. So – Oh yeah. Uh, Mitt needs Mitt needs to choose their next fight, and that was also with Token, that last fight. So true. There's, uh, I mean, there's. It's gonna be. It's it's gonna be pretty brutal. If if Mage Vane ultis this South Forest with one hero sitting around, the game's gonna just just everyone's dead. Yeah. Because Mage Vane will instantly kill them. It's it's. And he's still farming too. I yeah. I'm getting a little afraid here for Mint's sake, but they do still have a really good shot here if they can get even one pick off and then start forcing. You know, you know, it is interesting, too. It's kind of a hindsight, sure. But, you know, you were bringing it up, especially the token on Ravener, if they did have it on South Forest, because uh, yeah. of how committed he was at that point, that probably would have made it more sense in that specific case. Now, you know, obviously, they didn't know that's exactly how that fight was going to play out. But, uh, yeah, if South Forest had the token there, it definitely could have gone a lot better for Mint, actually. So, if you look at that, too. But Mage Bane, how about that? He steals the Ancients. Uh-oh. Fade needs to open. There we go. Gets the opening. Lex Talios is their follow-up and tie the ball lining just short. And it gets the blink off. So a huge kill chance. That's what they were Five. definitely looking for. Five heroes committed while Warbeast farms. Yep. While Master of Arms farms. I mean, uh, it's they're committing a lot to getting nothing. They're committing a lot for nothing. So and there's Mage Man GPM still spiking. Probably going to get a Geometer's Bane next is what I'm assuming. And, uh, there you go. Well, maybe. He bought the yeah. Blessed Orb, but then he sold it. So it might just be checking. Maybe he wants to make sure he have buyback in this case pushing. So, yeah, it makes. I, I think that when you're pushing like this, making sure you have buyback money pretty important. Oh! oh. Wow. <laughs> that was. I cool. can imagine different guy's reaction right now is very upset. <laughs> yeah. Because he, he even blinked perfectly. He blinked right on top of him. So, yeah, sucks a little bit there, but. To He's gonna get out now. Be fair, I don't think Fade was close enough to follow it in time, so yeah, I maybe think not. he still would have been fine, but yeah, it's That's not even getting the chance. Gotta be a little frustrating for a different guy right there, but how about this too? He goes an ice brand now, does Lord South Forest, so um, yeah. I like that item. Frostal sure. Skull, yeah. I really like the new Frostal. I've been a really big advocate of that new item. Well not new item, but the way they changed it to rework it into the Frostfield plate. It's really like it. It's essentially a new item, honestly, because yeah. I know it does a lot of the same that it did before, but that's why people are really addressing it now and buying it. It is that effect that it has now I, on use. I like it because it's so useful on so many heroes now. It's not just the very few, but now a lot of heroes can get the item, and that's kind of the big thing. I really like that a lot. Yeah. Mage Bane, 2,800 gold, so he's going to have that Geometer's Bane here. 
weekend coming up all, in the near future. All five heroes are. Oh. They're hunting. <laughs> Wait. The mines catch Probus. Oh my gosh. It's one of those things you're not looking at your screen. Yeah. I had I, I, I totally had to register what happened there, but yeah, that's a mine trap. How about that? Yeah, and, and see, that's funny. That see, as as you okay, I'll let you finish. Sorry. No, I was just gonna say, and they, I know they're gonna get a tier two tower. It obviously, gets denied, but yeah, just yeah. No, no, go ahead. Well, I was, I was gonna bring. I mean, okay, funny is probably the wrong word. It's not funny for the Legion team, but <laughs> it's Arachna's the one hero that you think should be able to live against that because it. I mean, I guess when you're right on top of them. The reaction time would have to be pretty insane, to be fair. So, you know, maybe not. But, you know, there is that travel time that they do take to get to you. By the way, Mage Bane. Oh, my God. What just happened right there? He missed the stun, didn't he? No. It was incredible reaction time by Formless there. So what happened was is they opened. Formless instantly geode, which forced uh, the Fade to have to, you know, find out where the real one was. And then he was able to get shrunken off. It was just the perfect timing of Geo's to really kind of disjoint the team fight. All right, we're in a replay not... here. Yeah, so I mean, you'll see it. I mean, you'll just see him Geo's, and then Fade has to refine where the real one is. Yeah. We're in the pause, by the way, guys. So I'm missing the live action here, but yeah, no, I, I got it. I kind of was. I was on a point there, so I didn't really. Wow. So she auto. So okay, that's what she so she auto attacked out of the infus to get that extra yep. little damage, and then that's where he. That's yeah. where the geos went off. Took off that damage, anyways. Yeah. And then, so I see. If you're fade, you God, I know it's open like up with the stun. Yeah, no, we, we sit here and say hindsight, but honestly, yeah. your role is not to kill Mage Bane by yourself. Your role is to set up that stun so that people can then follow up and get the kill. So yeah, I really think that's going to be stressed here for Sasuke. Yeah, especially after that miss there. Yeah. Yep. I mean, in all honesty, really big play by Formless. And then a really good Ursa shield by, I keep calling it Ursa shield because that's what it says, but Master's Call <laughs> by Master of Arms. Um, yeah, just it's really well played by Formless there. He's kind of playing on his game right now. Had to suffer through the early game. I mean, anyone that has to play against Arachna 1v1 with a melee hero hates it enough, but mm -hmm. being Mage Bane... There's nothing you can do. So, had to suffer, but I mean, look at, you know, what's happening right now. 400 GPM on War Beast, who's about to pick up another big item. I mean, sitting on 5k gold. So, I wonder what his, his item's going to be as well. The, the start here, man, it's, it's, this really has been such a swing of a game. that This series, in general, we've had quite a couple of just swings. And, you know, it's games like this where I do kind of wish we had, we, we had graphs, like gold graphs and stuff, because... No doubt, it would it would be pretty ridiculous to see it kind of well in favor of Mint early on and the experience for that matter, and then all of a sudden, just start dipping. And uh, you know they still have a five thousand goalie, but obviously experience is identical now. Um, but yeah, no doubt it's it's just going in complexity's favor is the biggest point. You mentioned five thousand gold on Warbies now, and it's just you could feel it. You just we. You could just know that that it was like, despite that early farm, they just were not doing enough with it. Um, I'm still so I'm honestly still just so taken back by that top lane and how that played out as it did. Like the fact that nobody really died for most of the top lane is pretty crazy to me. But yeah, it was kind of a boring try lane. Yeah, try lane. But I mean, ev and everything was in favor of mint. That's the big thing here. Is in my opinion, all three of mint's lanes won. Even though they died a couple times top, realistically, all their lanes won. And now they're having, you know, all this trouble. Well, they pause right there. And again, especially in pause cases like that where there's no talking going on and then out of nowhere somebody says ready, it, you pretty much know it's strap pause coming out there from fresh. So clearly want to talk things over, figure out where they're at in this game. Obviously, they are in a spot of, well, they need to start coming back now. So probably uh, figuring out what they want to do to accomplish that. I think finishing the Frost of Skull Lord South Forest, Congor is up, so he could, of course, be a pretty big target right here, but I mean, if you're Mint, you have to feel like you, you need to kind of just go very shortly. You have maybe five minutes, and that's a stretch in itself of, of being passive before you just have to do something, because, yeah, you're not going to win this game in the long run. We've already pretty much established that now with where we're at here. So they're, they're trying again. Fate is level 11 now. That, that's important, actually. They're going to see this Congor. <gasps> All those mines. 
Oh, uh, those mines. <laughs> those mines. Fade's gonna stay up here, but Fade's gonna have oh, to man. walk down there eventually. I mean, they see this Congor happening. Yeah. It's just what they want to do. I, I think at this point, Complexity's not afraid of facing a token. Yeah, and obviously it didn't really do too much for them last time. Arachna does pick it up this time around, so they do change better. it up there a little <laughs> bit. Yeah, at least better. Definitely. Little, definitely better. I definitely agree with that decision. I, I don't think Complexity is worried whatsoever about that token. They're just farming on all their heroes. 6k gold pool. I, I Oscar, I he's not one to pull gold like that, so yeah. I'm wondering if he's he's doubting in his he mind. He might be debating, yeah. You know, Complexity, uh, you'd probably know this very well, too, that they, they made the point that they talk about their items a lot. In fact, Formless especially, he pretty much asks always, like, what he should does. he get, so. Yeah. He's, uh, th that's the thing with Complexity. In my eyes, they're kind of like the team team. Like, they never will buy an item without getting consensus from everyone in the team that's like, okay, this is the right decision. And, I mean, Formless is one of those players that goes, well, is this what I want? Mm -hmm. So, I, I, Oscar could be doing the same thing. Not really sure, but I, Warbeast is kind of like a cookie cutter hero. You kind of just go with those items. Yeah. Maybe there's a couple variations, but he's gonna buy out a demonic. He, okay, he does go to full demonic. I, was gonna, sorry, I just saw the souls pop up, but yeah, that makes more sense. So he does go to full demonic. I was, I was thinking again. I was kind of wondering if he maybe, because to be fair, yeah, cookie cutter to an extent. The shield breaker change did kind of make that a little more reasonable on him for sure. You could, we, in fact, we saw it earlier today. In fact, so. Um, but uh, maybe that's what he's somewhat debating. But yeah, the demonic just for the team's sake. Uh, overall, I, I think it's definitely the better choice. I don't know if a shield breaker level three was necessary. They they don't need to be really sieging right now, like to win this game. So I think I, I like this better for sure. Yeah. And I mean both. I think both teams forgot what teams they were on. Hellborn is in Legion jungle, and Legion is in Hellborn jungle. Mm -hmm. So they kind of just kind of playing cat and mouse right now really so they're kind of both teams are trying to both teams are confident that they can win a team fight in reality legion shouldn't be as confident yeah so they need to be a little bit more careful with how they're playing this i mean in all honesty if this is a head-on 5v5 team fight hellborn just gonna run over them there's just no doubt in my mind it's just gonna be a wash so they need to be looking for picks like set up on this mage bane but look at the mage bane like just set up on him bottom right now He's split pushing. He's and that's for good timing because you see what the Legion team is doing. They they were gonna try to push the top. So now the Rax is, is exposed right here. Um, no stone by the way on Magnus. There's a lot of big single target abilities here on the Legion side. So I guess uh, likes for that reason. It's stunning in there, but quick uh, Harding care face from Arachna. They they should get this kill. Mageman jumping in actually. Arachna is gonna fall pretty quickly right there. Has that token? In comes the energy field. It didn't hit Arachna though. So pretty awkward placement honestly from what you got right there. Swap from Andromeda gonna keep him alive. And actually a nice tablet on the ledge. He will be fine. Good getaway there from uh, Andromeda. Lord South Force. He is gonna be picked off though. Kind of left behind as a scapegoat here. So they do get the one kill, but they lost the Rax. I think you gotta give a victory to Mint there. Only losing one for a Rax kill. Pretty pretty important. Yeah, I mean, obviously it was the token being used and definitely a good swap out there by Bunny Lover. Waited for the auto attack and definitely got him out of there. So, uh, I mean, really, in, re in reality there, really good trade for Mint. It's going to be a matter of what complexity does now to try to even it up. But if nothing happens, then really Mint made a really good play there and uh, made an effective trade. Well, what about that placement of the energy field again? I, I, felt, I don't know if what you got just thought he place it on the token resurrection or not but isn't that like a typical strategy that you want to use it where they died essentially yeah kind of but i don't think down. he used the shrunken i think he still okay. had a shrunken when he came out of the token yeah so either way it wouldn't have mattered that's true but complexity's just gonna back off here there's the full frost will finish on mage bane uh, i mean there's still like Sure, if that Rax was 20 minutes ago, it might have made a pretty big difference. But okay. now, a little bit less impactful. Sure, it's still a Rax. So they're going to have that, at least that top lane pushing in at all times. So that'll be nice. But uh, it's it's getting to the point where they need to really find this Mage Bane. And they have to kill him. Oh, yeah. He's done a good job. And obviously, he just got a little harder, of course. You mentioned the Frost of Skull coming out there. 2,600 life now when he has a Strength Steam Boots, at least. So... Um, he is quite the tank and also a great tool for, well, chasing people. I mentioned that earlier with Self Forest, who was still going for it, actually. 
he had that ice brand much earlier than the mage main and uh still uh still trying to finish it apparently i mean he had to avoid something i feel like so, oh he might avoid talisman actually okay so he kind of changed his mind a little bit while he's in the ice brand he figured he needs to avoid talisman i guess there is the uh war yeah. beast that way, when the Mage Bane ultis him, it just does more damage. <laughs> <laughs> There's that too, yeah. No, I guess to be fair, yeah, Mage Bane is good yeah. for the auto attacks from him too. But yeah, definitely. Yeah, but you're right though. With the... If he uses it on low mana, it's not gonna <laughs> matter. That might he be has bad. To, he kind of has to use it when he first goes in, which is, it's, I mean, it should happen. I mean, he spams spells. He's really not attacking too much anyway. So, oh, this is gonna be a fight. Yeah, they're trying to catch oh. the bottom, but Fade, he hits the stun, but they're in the base. So that would be pretty risky. Arachna, actually. Oof. They that wanted to go so bad. <laughs> yeah, that was almost a case of Arachna getting a little too confident going in there, but she does make her escape. Has a full Genjiro, by the way, does Probusk. Another 2,600 gold, actually. So he's been sitting on that even for a little bit here. Good item pick up. Yeah, Ravener, we can't forget either. I mean, honestly, Ravener, when it comes to, if he's able to get auto attacks off in these fights and start getting those charges up with the power overwhelming, I mean, he will hit very hard. So he is kind of that third carry of the team right now, but he's getting to a spot where they're also going to need to keep that in mind. It's going to be heavy damage potential. He's got, he's going to kind of take over self force really, as far as his damage threat eventually. This game yep. continues. Oh, there's the wingbow in Arachna. Okay. So she split up the Genjiro and buys the wingbow. Yep, that's a good choice. Wingbow is definitely very good against... Oh, it, it's very good against the Hellborn team. I mean, wingbow is good in general anyways, but being against Warbeast and Magebane and really with no no counter to wingbow anymore, mm -hmm. there's a, there is a counter. It just should never be bought, but... I mean, it's it's kind of just a free item now. and I mean, it's going to do really well this game for him. Nah, if you're Mage Man, man you get, it gives you agility. Uh, does it even give you agility? No, it, it gives you attacks. I made that up, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you made it up. It doesn't even do we, that. We it could all damage. wish it gave agility. It gives you damage. So, anyways, there oh, you go. Oh, initiation here. Magnus gets caught. Quick cutter from Mage Man. He comes in. Andromeda's picked off. She swapped in. They get the quick kill itself for us, though. Mage Man just surrounding them with the auto attacks. The energy field, as you'd expect, too, doing plenty. And the Legion team just melts away as if they weren't even there. What a fight for complexity. A five for nothing genocide that happened so quickly in that fight. What what, what happened? I don't even know what really it's, happened. So basically, Sephora's got caught, did not use his shrunken, and just died. <laughs> okay. Just straight up died. Got stunned by Magmus. Uh, into the Engineer Keg, into the Master of Arms stun, and just died. There's no buybacks here for... Oh, okay, there's two buybacks on the Legion side, but, I mean, they can't buy back. They can't do anything. They're going to lose at least two racks here, if not three. Yeah, no, there goes the tower, the racks. It's already being beat on here. You see Bunny Lover's up by himself, obviously. There's nothing he can do. Has to wait for everyone else. So bottom tower, Mage Man effective as he is, split pushing here. Going to be the easy tower kill, but now we'll start falling back. So it is enough to, well, just in oh, I'm going to fade. I was going to say, yeah, a little surprise. I think he was just that. trying to buy an item and realized, oh, wait, I need to kill these racks. Yeah. I look at the top, dude, the split pushing, and that, that's so it's, smart. It's over. Yeah. They're going to, they, I don't know if they're going to get mega creeps, but it's going to be close. See, the top yeah, range gonna... is going down. Bottom range will stay alive, though. Okay, so if I remember correctly, Complexity played a game like this where they held on for a good, like. Oh, yeah. 30 minutes with that top range drag, so. Oh. oh, they're just gonna call it. Well, oh. oh, I hate <laughs> that, man. Come on. I, yeah, I mean, like they back. lost. Like, like they were I going am. to lose. I get that, but it, it's the final game, man. It's like, do you, you still have, like, it wasn't Mega Creeps. If it was, you know, but just why not at least try that big push, a big fight? But no, I mean, they were going to lose, so yeah. I understand it, too. <laughs> As a spectator, I was just hoping to see a big final finish, I got to say. but Wow, well, complexity, man. That it, it was scary early. It was, I'm sure, for them. And meant uh, they were feeling good, I'm sure, on the other side of it. That, uh, But like we were talking about, it's they just did not really translate with that early start, arguably winning all three lanes even at the beginning, especially both of the solos. Yet the, they, they just did not do enough. What more is there to say, really, we're grossed in? Mm, they just helped. They, I mean, I said how the you know the flow of the game went exactly how we said it was going to go. 
Mint was going to win two of their solo lanes. They needed to be aggressive, and they were not aggressive enough. And this is why Complexity takes the win here. They really needed to be more active. They weren't. So uh, kind of a fault to Mint, uh, but definitely well played by Complexity. But, uh, you know, I, I think it's just a matter of Mint's timing, and they just didn't pick the right timing. Well, complexity moving on. That's gotta be that's gotta be such a great feeling again, especially stressing what's so important about this series here and about these brackets right now for them especially.